I know it's been a minute. We're not gonna even get into that. I am back. I'm actually getting my hair done today. I'm getting the style. This is my second style. Now I didn't record the first style. I'll insert some pictures or something so y'all can see how that was. Um, I've been up trying to figure out, cause my appointment is at 8.30. It's about, it's almost seven o'clock. So one less step she has to do is wash my hair. So I make sure my hair is already washed. I've been trying to figure out what style I want and I really don't know. I may just do a similar style. I'm gonna try to record throughout the week. So y'all should see this vlog um, the first part of July. Hopefully that's the plan. Um, I don't have too much going on. If I feel like it's a busy week where I have, you know, some things going on, then I'll probably post like a weekly vlog. Um, but if not, then you'll just get, you'll just get whatever, whatever you get. I do need to get my feet done, but I don't know if I'm gonna do that today. We'll see. I need to do a couple things, but, um, for sure getting my hair done. So I'm trying to do like a monthly, I don't have to get a style every month, but I do want a style today. So, um, I, at least every four to six weeks, I'm starting to go to a professional get, to get my hair retwisted. Cause it's just. I don't twist it as tight as they do, but yeah, so as you can see, so I am, let me see, April, May, June. So I am one year and two months in to being locked. And this is the length, this is the length of my hair now. So. I think, I don't, I don't even remember if I have a video on here of when I started my locks, but I may insert some footage of where I started. Somebody said they wanted more to see more videos of my locks. So I'm trying to incorporate that too. I wish I would have recorded the entire journey like I planned, but you know, things happen. I do have pictures to kind of piece everything together, but yeah, I am a year and two months in i'm very happy with the progress i think once it of course once it gets a little bit longer i'm not going to mess with it as much since it's still in this short phase um i do want to make sure that i'm getting it styled at least every four to six weeks or we retwist it i should say but yeah i don't want to talk your head off i gotta get ready but luckily she doesn't take long it takes about an hour 15 minutes but y'all stay tuned <laughs> All right, y'all, so I made it to my appointment. I'm about five minutes early, um, thankfully, because she don't be playing about the time. But I will, um, of course, show y'all some, some footage of her doing my hair. And yeah, so stay tuned. <music> Dominique to show like a, a 
full view of the back because I don't even know what the back looks like but I didn't know she was gonna do the petals but maybe because my hair is a little bit shorter that's probably why she did it but um, yeah it looks good I like it took about an hour and a half so um, I'm a little hungry so I'm gonna run to let's see I kind of want, I may take y'all with me to one of my favorite spots where I get matcha and, um, and like a Danish. I'm going to show y'all. It's called Russell's. So I'll probably go there and then, um, yeah, we'll just see where the rest of the day takes us. Alright y'all, so I got my strawberry and cream cheese croissant. And then we got the lavender matcha. So I actually was coming to Witch Witch one day and it used to be here at this location. And I didn't know that they closed it down and it's now Russell's Bakery and Coffee Bar. So the first time I came, this is exactly what I got. And every time I come, I get this. I haven't tried any other drinks, but I have tried different Danishes. So this is definitely the best matcha I've had and it has lavender so i see that they have a strawberry matcha as well and i thought about getting it but dominique will kill me if i tried it without her so i'm gonna wait until we can come together and we're gonna try the strawberry matcha i'm sure it's good too if you're in austin and you're looking for something small for breakfast or you need somewhere to work make sure you get the lavender matcha with almond milk and you get one of these strawberry and cream cheese danishes. All right, thank me later. Make sure you tell them to heat it up. You don't want to eat it cold. It's kind of flaky, so probably gonna make a mess. But yeah, this is the this is the Danish. It's so good. Yeah. Mm mm mm. So we have this new outdoor bar in Austin called the Sign Bar. You see me playing pool here. So they have that space. Then these other spaces that are a little more intimate if you decide to bring a group of friends. Of course, first come, first serve. This is giving hookah vibes. And then this other space with this I love video sign is pretty cool. So it pretty much showcases a lot of Austin's iconic signs. A lot of these places were closed down due to COVID. Some of them are still up and running or trying to get back on their feet. But unless you're from Austin, a lot of these signs probably won't make sense to you. But since I'm from here, a lot of these signs are very nostalgic. ACL Music Fest is something that still goes on in Austin. It's very big. The Genie Car Wash. And then there's this huge maze you can walk through. This is that huge maze again, all lit up. Finally made our way out of it eventually. And we decided to just chill, catch a vibe, look at everything and grab a drink. Uh -uh. 